Tonight on Live at 5, the Rockingham Moose Lodge donates plush figures for children in trauma. Rockingham Police takes seven larceny reports in three days. And Rockingham Dragway and the Speedway draw crowds to Richmond County. That and more are ahead on the Tuesday edition of Richmond County's Nightly News. Live at 5 starts right now. Members of a local family fraternity are hoping to help Richmond County children cope with traumatic situations. On Monday, leaders of the Rockingham Moose Lodge sent Sheriff James Clemens back to his office with a box of Tommy Moose stuffed animals. The toys are handed out to police and fire departments to bring comfort to children in times of stress, uncertainty, or anxiety, according to the website TommyMoose.org. The website goes on to say that the figure personifies one of the cornerstone tenets of the Loyal Order of Moose, caring for children. Tommy Moose started as a public service project in Connecticut and more than 100,000 plushies have been distributed to shelters, hospitals, and emergency workers across the U.S. and Canada since 2002, according to the website. The character has expanded to be featured in coloring books, bookmarks, and a clothing line. The Rockingham Moose Lodge is also donating toys to the Rockingham Police Department and Cordova Fire and Rescue for a total of 39 to 3 agencies. Police are investigating at least seven larcenies reported within three days last week, including at a local church. On June 21st, an officer with the Rockingham Police Department responded to a call in reference to both a rotting lawnmower and push mower being stolen from the shed of Rockingham Church of Christ on Wild Cherry Avenue. That same day, a resident on Dogwood Lane reported multiple items stolen from his building. On June 22nd, officers took a report on a vehicle broken into at Kathy's Clippers on Fayetteville Road, citing that $10 and change in four blood pressure pills were stolen. A resident on Short Street was also reporting that 42 ceramic tiles, a bank book, and 10 checks had been stolen. An alleged victim on Crescent Drive also reported that day that a checkbook had been stolen and four personal checks of $300 or more had been fraudulently written. The next day, two steel chainsaws, an impact driver, flashlight, and chain in the lock were reported stolen from the back of a work truck. An officer also took a report of a stolen iPhone 10 with a case. All reports are still listed as active. As June comes to a close, the Richmond County Health Department reports the first COVID-related death of the month. Interim Health Director Cheryl Spate issued a press release Monday afternoon announcing that a Richmond County resident died from COVID-related issues within the past 24 hours. This makes the first such death since May 25th and the 98th since April of 2020. Deaths have decreased in recent months with four reported in May. There have been over 13,000 COVID-related deaths in North Carolina as of June 28th, according to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services. According to the department, 33% of Richmond County's population has been fully vaccinated and 35% is at least partially vaccinated. The county's goal is 66%. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report is coming up after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Your Alive at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush, Classic Titan Ice, located here in downtown Rockingham. And happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Another beautiful day we're having here in Richmond County. 
Can't complain about it one bit. Seeing temperatures get into the mid to high 80s today. Uh, it's been relatively warm. Some folks might describe it as hot. Uh, personally, I'm enjoying it. Uh, very, very nice afternoon we've been seeing today. And that will continue on into this evening. Six o'clock, 86 degrees. 10 o'clock, 77 degrees. A party of cloudy skies. Sunset at 8.36 p.m. with a waning give us moon phase out tonight as well. Now looking at tomorrow, temperatures are looking to be relatively the same as we have seen today. We are breaking into the 90s depending where you are in the Sand Hills tomorrow. Cumberland County, a high of 89, a low of 73. Hope County, a high of 89, a low of 73 as well. Uh, same for Robeson County. Scotland County, a high of 90 and a low of 73 with Moore County also seeing a high of 90 and a low of 73. Here in Richmond County, we're just under the 90s with a high of 89 and a low of 73. Marlboro County, a high of 90 and a low of 73. Nansen County seeing a high of 90 and a low of 73 as well. And all day long, party cloudy skies will be around. And as we look forward for the seven day forecast, we will be seeing some thunderstorms popping up uh, later on in the week. Again, Wednesday, a high of 89, a low of 73, party cloudy skies. Thursday, a 4% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 88 and a low of 72. On Friday, a high of 82 and a low of 70 with a 60% chance of thunderstorms. And that will carry over into Saturday with a high of 80 and a low of 65. And then we'll get into Sunday with a high of 82 and a low of 66. Now that will be a 30% chance of showers. After that, party class skies return. Monday, a high of 85 and a low of 68. We have Tuesday seeing a high of 85 and a low of 70. Also party class skies. So a little bit of wet rain uh, coming along here later this week. So be mindful of that. Make sure you catch your umbrella pack for the weekend. And that's going to do it for your Live 5 weather report. When we return, we've got your RO Sports update. It's on the way, so stay tuned to Live at 5. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. She gets her soccer skills from her mom, her sense of humor from her dad, and her drugs from her home medicine cabinet. Over half of misused medication comes from family and friends. Talk to your children about the dangers of prescription drug misuse. Secure your medication, take regular inventory to ensure nothing is missing, and properly dispose of expired or unused medication. Be aware, don't share, lock your meds. Crowds from multiple states were in Richmond County this weekend participating in simultaneous events at both Rockingham Dragway and Rockingham Speedway. More than 2,000 maniacs tested their endurance in the rugged maniac obstacle course, climbing nets, crawling through mud, jumping over fire, and ziplining across water. There are more than 20 challenges in the 3.1 mile course that took participants down one side of the drag strip and back up and around to a field out back and ended with a splash down slide. Dragway owner Steve Earwood said Monday that a date has already been set for April of 2022 for the next one. Across the street, Rockingham Speedway was roaring back to life with several events going on at the same time. At the back of the property between the Little Rock and the Solar Farm, Guardians Entertainment held the inaugural First Responders Royale Paintball Tournament featuring eight three-man teams with members from the Carolinas, Michigan, Florida, and Georgia. The event featured several special guests, including Sir Purr and the Carolina Panthers Top Cats and Ryan Richards from CMT's Party Down South. Over at the track, Motorsport for the Masses was holding thrill rides on the road course and also managing laps around the oval. Speedway Operations Vice President Justin Jones said a percentage of the proceeds from the day's events will go toward the Wounded Warrior Project and the First Responders Foundation. The Monster Trucks Mayhem Tour comes to the Speedway this weekend and MB Drift returns on July 17th. Both tracks have events slated for the weekends throughout the summer. After leaving a short pitching outing last week due to discomfort, Walker Lambeth showed no signs of that Monday as he led the charge in a combined no-hitter for the Richmond Renegades. 
opening a three-game series against Western Hornet in Central Carolina Scholastic Summer League play. The rising junior pitcher tossed six innings of no-hit baseball as the Renegades earned an 8-2 victory, their first of the summer slate. Closing out the seventh by retiring Western Hornet in order was rising pitcher Cameron Way, who threw just seven pitches to Silva Deal in the final inning, using a fly ball, a ground out, and a strikeout to end the game. Richmond will head to Western Hornet tonight for the second game of the series, which will begin at 7 p.m. A fast start at the plate coupled with a complete game shutout on the mound propelled the JV Richmond Renegades to a series opening win on Monday. Beginning their second three-game set in play, the JV Renegades defeated Western Hornet 13-0 in five innings. The JV Renegades scored four runs in the first, two more in the second, and put an exclamation point at the end with seven runs in the fourth inning. Richmond collected nine hits in the win across seven different players and drew nine walks. The JV Renegades will travel to Western Hornet tonight with play already underway. And that's going to do it for tonight's edition of Live at Five. For the latest news, sports, events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at Five crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.